the vlog that went up last week about my mom's birthday and Jacob turning 21. So if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. Today, I went to one of my favorite places. I bet you can already tell what it is. I got some fall things. Literally, it's not that exciting though. I just got some plugins because they're on sale right now, seven for 24. And then I also had a 20% off coupon. I got seven of these for $20 and 49 cents, which that's freaking amazing. I normally would get like a bunch of different scents. If my house smells like one consistent scent throughout the entire place, it's just a lot better. Vanilla Birch was the one that I liked the best. It's not too fall-ish, but it's more like a mature scent. I don't know. It just, it smells really good. So I got this one and when all these run out, I'll switch to a more fall scented smell. I decided to start off with just two for now because now that I'm smelling them, it's kind of strong. So we're just going to put one by the front door. That way it smells good as soon as people come into the house. And then the other one I'm just going to put in the hallway. We'll see how it smells in a couple hours. It's a little later and I just finished cooking dinner and eating. I made chicken Alfredo for dinner this evening. Brock's at the gym right now. He'll come back and eat whenever he's done. But I just realized I came into the bathroom to wash my face off and take a shower, get my pajamas on, get ready for bed. Tell me why my hand soap that is in the bathroom is vanilla birch, just like the plugins I got today. And I did not realize that that was the scent of the hand soap that I had in my bathroom. I just thought it was a weird coincidence. Anyways, I think that's basically it for today. I don't really have much that I can vlog during the weekdays. That's why I mostly vlog on the weekends. And for the rest of the evening, I'm just going to wait for my YouTube video to keep processing a little bit more. And I'm not gonna publish it until it's got better video quality. For some reason, YouTube takes forever to update the quality of the video. Like it always starts out at 360 and it's just terrible. So I'm waiting and hopefully within the next hour, it goes up to like at least 720. We'll see. But anyways, that's all for this evening. I'm just gonna wait for that to upload. Probably watch some YouTube videos myself and maybe read a little bit. And then I'm gonna go to bed. He's gonna try to hold Chuck. Our window's very dirty. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. I was out there laying with Chuck hanging out, but my phone about died, so I plugged it in for a minute. I'm gonna try to go out there again. Yeah. He liked it better when it was just me and him. That's rude. Come here. Come on, baby. Okay. Right <laughs> Good boy. You want more treats? You deserve more treats. You work so hard. You're such a good boy. He does not look happy. He's purring. Oh, really? When you pick him up, he buries his head on you. I just did a Grow With Joe workout, like an arm workout, and I'm just going to keep working out. I am on Brock's account watching my videos because, you know, more views. I'm just gonna speed through me doing a couple arm things. It's so awkward watching myself on YouTube. My skin looks really good in this vlog, and I don't know why because it was not looking good. It must be a filter that iPhone puts on videos. I just did a quick 20 minute arm workout and now I'm gonna get in the shower. It's hair washing day, that's why my hair is back because it's all greasy. And then I think I'm going to stamp a lot of my books, maybe all of them tonight. So I'll record that and I'll just like fast forward through me stamping them. So this is where I keep all of my books. Right there and right there. Not a whole lot, but you know, we're working on our collection. So I had a ton of books when I was living at my parents' house, but when I moved out, I got rid of a lot of them because I didn't know where to put them here and Brock and I weren't going to get bookshelves. So I just gave a lot of them away, but yeah. So now I just keep my books up here in the little entrance area. <laughs>
guys it is wednesday evening 6 20 to be exact i just got home um i went to the grocery store to get some groceries i'm so excited i found something that i talked about in a previous vlog I, it was a day today you guys it was stressful to say the least so last night my email just decided to not work like the email that i've literally had since i was in like fifth grade and i don't know where my phone just decided to not work with my email anymore and my ipad wasn't working with my email it kept telling me that my password was wrong and i needed to re-enter the password which like i know what the password is to my email like i've switched it changed it up like a month ago because i changed it every few months and but freaking the website doesn't even exist anymore for my email address so i was like what the heck so i just ended up having to make a whole new email today and i had to log in to all of my existing accounts which i have so many accounts that i did not realize i have it's fine now like i got it done but my head is like throbbing now and i just don't want to put a whole lot of effort into cooking tonight and i'm not gonna work out because i walked a mile and a half today so uh, that was my workout for the day i went to the store and i got some mozzarella sticks specifically i went there for that because i just have been wanting some mozzarella sticks it sounds good that's how my day went i could have talked to you guys about it inside but brock's inside and i've already bitched to him about how my day was and how i'm annoyed so i don't want him to go through it again and then him have to watch it again on this video you know i just came to my car to do it but i am gonna unload all the groceries in my car and put them all away we'll do a little grocery haul okay i'm in the house now i brought all the groceries in brock just left for the gym so i'm gonna start unloading the groceries and i'll show you what i got first off we just got some mozzarella sticks because that's what i went for and actually i'm gonna have some of these green peppers for my salads that i have basically every day for lunch. Spinach because I'm going to try to make smoothies for breakfast every day. Salad for my salad. Dairy-free ranch, which this is the best thing that has ever been made. I'm here for this. For my smoothies, along with the spinach, I got chia seeds, cause I don't know, apparently it's good for you. Full strawberries, frozen peach slices, frozen blueberries. I know banana and yogurt is a big ingredient in smoothies, but I am intolerant to both of those things. So, I'm not really supposed to have those. Marinara Alfredo sauce, which I'm not supposed to have dairy at all, or mozzarella. That's, those are also things that I'm intolerant to. I don't care. I like it. Maybe one day I'll cut it all out, but probably not. And then I just got some Blonde Rose coffee because like I told you guys, the Dunkin' coffee, not it. Not a fan at all. The Dunkin' coffee can be Brock's and this is mine. All right, and that's it. Oh my God, wait. The thing that I was so excited about. All right, so we have a Krispy Kreme in Indy. It's like, I don't know, 45 minutes away from where I live, but it's just a lot to get there. And I told you guys I wanted to try the pumpkin spice donuts. Look what they had. I got the last box. It smells so good. I really want to try one right now, but I'm literally about to have mozzarella sticks, so I'm not going to do that. And then I also just got regular glaze because that's, that's my jam. I'm going to have some of these mozzarella sticks and probably just chill out. Actually, no, I'm not. Brock asked me to prepare the hamburger meat for the burgers, so I'm going to do that. So I just put my hair back and I washed my hands, took my rings off. Not much in there, I have to add that to my list. Now I'll be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing, but he told me to just put this in here, put some of the sauce all over it, and then make patties out of it. So that's what we're gonna do. Currently watching Jenna Hong and eating my mozzarella sticks. They're so good. This is exactly what I needed. And yes, I use a marinara and ranch. I alternate back and forth. I took a body shower, got in my pajamas. And now I'm going to fold some laundry. Brock tried a donut. He said it was good. I'm gonna just have a bite of one. Pumpkin glazed, and then there's pumpkin cake donuts. He had a cake donut. Should I try the glaze? No, I didn't have the rest Yes? Hmm. You like the cake one better? Whatever they put on the glazing on that is like when they do the, some of those frosted cereals. It made the top of my mouth instantly weird. Yeah. Brock got me snacks because Big Brother is two hours long tonight and Thor is investigating. No hugs. No hugs for sweet tea either. It's my full time. I don't give out of the so I'm taking a quick lunch break. I'm having chicken nuggets and to make things easier for me, I have just separated all the decorations into the area that they're supposed to go. So that way it's easier for filming and it goes a lot faster instead of me having 
to run from the kitchen to the living room, back to the kitchen, back to the living room again. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna eat real fast and then I'm going to hopefully finish decorating within the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Well, I just got back from getting my fingerprints done for the PSA stuff. It was 85 bucks, but it's good for five years, so that's perfect. And then I stopped by Payless and I got a few things. We're having some friends over tonight. We're gonna just have like some drinks and stuff before we go out to actual dinner and get drinks. Also, oh my gosh, hang on, I had to sit you guys down for this. So our sweet little orange neighbor cat next door, Chuck. I just talked to our next door neighbor and apparently Chuck's mom has been kicked out of the house and across town so that means chuck is probably not here anymore and i'm so sad because he's the sweetest boy ever but if we do see him then that means that his mom abandoned him which is not nice to do and if that's the case if we see him brock and i might just take him in honestly i don't know so i'll keep you updated with that from the store i just got this cheese board as you saw, very simple. I was going to make an actual charcuterie board for tonight, but I was like, you know what? No, that'll take too long. I'm doing all this other stuff. I still have to sweep again really quickly because just getting out all the decor and stuff like kind of brought some dust in and whatnot. And you know, I had to get these, had to. I think I'm gonna bake these for this evening because it makes your house smell so freaking good and they're so good. I'm just gonna kind of put some waves in my hair and get ready for this evening. I don't really know how to, how to do the cute curly waves like the other girls do. I'm not very good at being a girl. I'm going to let my phone charge because I've been recording on it all day so it's almost dead and hopefully all the videos and the clips can upload to iCloud so that I can upload them onto my video editing software. Um, but the next time we see you, we'll probably have our friends over. So I successfully uploaded all of the videos to my iCloud and they're all in LumaFusion, ready to go. So that's a weight off my shoulder. Um, Betsy and Jake are getting here in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the charcuterie board. Because I come alive in the fall time. Me too. Kevin, what are you doing? Oh, Lord. This is easily the worst charcuterie board I've ever made in my life because I didn't actually make it. If I would have had enough time, I could have gotten like individual meats and cheeses and sliced them all up and made them look cute. But we're honestly just gonna snack on these and have some margaritas before we go to the bar to actually have some more drinks and dinner. So this will just have to do. Are you mad that I decorated for fall? Yeah, I'm mad you decorated for fall. You're mad? Yeah. Really? Ideal fall decoration would be much spookier. I want all the walls black. I told him that um, you do the Halloween decorations in your area, like on your desk. I told him that whenever you're done setting it up, that I'll show, I'll show them what you do, because I wasn't gonna decorate for you. I don't really know what I do. I just do. I just do. I might vlog a little bit tonight. Probably not, I don't know. I get a little bit embarrassed. We are going to watch some band, I think, for a little bit and see my family members that are gonna be there. So I'll vlog some of that. downfall of our marriage. <laughs> Just kidding. Can you play some good music? I don't know this song. It's your name. You need to work on your being coolness. It's official. Chuck's mom left him here and I'm so sad because I tried to introduce Thor and Chuck and Thor got very upset and was hissing at him. I think it's gonna be a no. We can't take Chuck in. Good morning guys. I realized I did not do a proper introduction when I showed you Thor and Chuck. It is Saturday morning, it's currently 10 a.m. I've been up since 7.30, showered, put some makeup on, threw my hair up, had some breakfast, and now I'm coming to my mom and dad's because they're dog sitting. 
their neighbor's puppy, Archer. My toe is watering the grass right now. He's so good. All his gardening stuff is so nice. His landscape is awesome. This big plant, those, it looks so cool. Come here. He's all over me. Hi, buddy. He's bigger, ain't he? He's fucking huge. I know, he's he grew fast. so much. I Hi. I just saw you, what, last weekend? The weekend before? Mom and Dad's gonna think he's grown too. I know. Oh, you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. Archer is the cutest puppy I've ever seen. He's so sweet. He's definitely not aware of how big he's getting because when he's running around, he's just like flopping his body everywhere and it's hilarious. I'm on my way home now. Brock has to get his haircut today. Tonight we are going to the escape room and we're planning to go to the spaghetti factory with both my brothers and their girlfriends. That should be very fun. I'm excited for that. I love the spaghetti factory it's so fun and it's also funny because in one of my previous vlogs that I put up like six years ago we went to do an escape room like our first ever escape room we went and we did that and then we went to the spaghetti factory afterwards so it'll be cool if we get to go and do that again obviously I won't be able to record while we're in the escape room because you're not allowed to take your phone in there but whenever that's done I'll let you guys know how we did but when I get home I'm just going to finish doing some laundry and I'm gonna edit the fall decorating video that hopefully will be up on my channel by the time you're watching this. So if you haven't already seen it, go watch it. It was awful. <laughs> it was, well, we were getting it. We did pretty good, and then we just really failed the last minute. There was a box. I don't remember where the, I don't even know what the box he was He said that the was. box was like, oh, we I thought the box was open, but I realized. Yeah, so, like, so I think he basically fucked us up. I think the guy messed us up. Mm -hmm. We probably would've won. Hey! <laughs> okay. She's beating you by a landslide. You think so? Ryan won? Dang. <laughs> she <laughs> said, that replay the tape. <laughs> it's the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> the boys who clear their plates. The boy who does not need to clear his plate to prove his worth. <laughs> and we went to forever 21 while we were at the mall and i got this cute sweater i'm too short anyways i got that sweater and then i got myself a cute little necklace with my astrology thing because you know you can never have too many necklaces i already told you this but we did not escape on time there were some issues but we figured out quite a bit of stuff which i was proud of us and i'm gonna go wash my makeup off and then go to bed because i'm exhausted good night